Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team. Running away. And we're running away fast. And there's a lot of Pokemon close in our tail. Darn it! Where'd they go? They have to go this way. Keep your eyes open. Roar! I think they're gone. Phew! I think we managed to evade them. But there isn't any point in hiding here. We have to get over this mountain to get away. Let's go as soon as we're ready, Alka. And look at this! It's a storage thingy! Yay! I'm really happy this is implemented because you're away from town for some for some time. So I'm really happy this is in here so we can do stuff with our storage. Go to this, go to this, go to the very TM for rest that we picked up in the previous episode. We have this. I am going to pick up an additional reviver seed and also one sleep seed. And just with this setup. We are going into that new dungeon. We can't actually get rid of our money. But... I th I th we should be fine, I think. Are you ready? Yes! Which way should we go? What? Rock path, Mount Blaze. We can choose? But they were just talking about Mount Blaze at the end of the previous episode of the cutscene, so that has to be where we have to go. So we're going to Rock Path! Because I like exploring. Objectives avoid capture. It's not fugitive anymore. Now it's avoid capture. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, a Zubat. Confessor! It's the same music as in the Makuhita Dojo. It sounds strange. Oh, Pidgeot. Hello. Stop using distance attacks. Get here. Get over here so I can beat you with a brick break, get a lot of EXP. Yay! 187. Level 23 for Oka! New move. Screech. Wait, that's better than Tail Whip. Sharply lowers the target's defense. And it's still 22. Just like Tillip. Tillip always works. I'd have to guess whether Screech might um, not work as much, because lower accuracy, something like that. But it's the same power points. I'm, I'm going to take it instead of Tillip. Does this forget both? Will the linked moves be forgotten? No! D-Link! Just Tailwhip, please. Which means we don't have, considering we didn't take a link box with us, we don't actually have a linked move for the rest of this dungeon, unless we find a link box. So, Screech is new, which is a Brick Break, Confuse, and Dig. A set Brick Break as our main move. Actually, we're not, because Confusion might be better. Eh, maybe not. Brick Break has higher base power, I think, even in this game. Also, I'm just used to having Brick Break there, so I was like, get confused and then I have to change it back again. Next dungeon. I hope we'll get to another of those Kangaskhan storage thingies soon, so that I can get a Link Box. I believe I have like, four in storage, something like that. There's, well, there's minimum two, so I, I can Link my stuff again, even if we, we're not around gulping. So, ha still having those lunk, uh, lunk boxes, link boxes, is quite useful. Look, we have found ourselves New York! Yay! It's actually just an, like a, an apple, but bigger. Hence it being called Big Apple. It restores your belly even more. I believe it might actually do something if you have a full belly. Um, yeah, if, in, 
eating this one, the belly's full, so they enlarge the belly size. But I think that's either by 5 or by 10. While eating an, even a regular apple regularly increases your belly by 50, so... I don't actually see the point in increasing the belly. Because it resets when you go into the next dungeon. That's how I remember it anyway, so I don't really see the point. If you can come up with a point behind just increasing your belly slightly as opposed to waiting with it to heal it a lot more, let me know. I'd be interested to hear it. Huh? What the? Isn't this where we started from? I guess that path we took just loops back to where it started. It looks like we have to go over Mount Blaze to move on. Okay, let's do our best. Yay! Storage! Immediately get to make use of that again. Uh, this was all my main stuff. Orange berry, orange berry, big apple, petchberry, blast seed, all in the storage. And we're gonna take... Where are you? Where's the link box? No, it's at the other end of things. Three link boxes. Alright, so it's in between the two and the four that I said. Can we immediately use it? No, we have to wait for the dungeon. Are you ready? Yes! Which way should we go? If you want to keep um, grinding, you can, to my knowledge, infinitely go to Rock Path. Considering we just got the option again, very likely we will. We're going to Mount Blaze. It sounds very rough, but let's try our best. I expect lots of fire types. Let's see what'll happen. Just look volcano y. Link box. Not use because I want to make sure my moves are set. I don't remember how it worked the previous time. Set like that and then use. Alka. On Screech. Link with Grip Break. Yes. Done with the Link Box. That's all I want. So this should just be a better Tail Whip combo because it sharply lowers the target's defense now. Oh, we're fugitive again in our objective. Maybe because we were in that loop um, dungeon earlier, the fourth. Yeah, the dungeon with the four floors. It said something different, but it'll probably say fugitive whenever we're in the proper dungeon. So we may be able to check the mission objectives to see if we went to the correct one, even though I think it'll be obvious. If we even get choices like that later on. I'm not going to, because I just want to explore. If I have the option, I will just choose the wrong one each time. I see a gummy, and considering this is a volcano, and it's red, it has to be a red gummy! And I know who likes that! That one's for you. My Q went up significantly. I like to see that. Proper lava now. Would I have a fire po A fire Pokemon can go there. If my leader would be a fire type, your Torchic, your Charmander, your Cyndaquil, I could actually walk on it and take shortcuts like I have done in like one or two previous dungeons where there was water with Psyduck. I did partially want Psyduck so just I could take the shortcuts, but also just because it's Psyduck. And it's quite a derpy Pokemon. The anime was quite not really intelligent seeming while also being cool at times. It was a really interesting Pokemon. I still saw a Magby, I think, going over, walking over the lava. I'm not gonna pay attention to that. Yes, we are, because it was red when we were on there, so. If they're in the main area, which is the square plus one square into the hallways, I do fight them. Have any of you ever played that, uh, the fake Pokemon game, the bootleg games? They were known as Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Jade outside of Japan because some Chinese person bootlegged the games. Uh, they were never officially released outside of Japan. What are they called? Kaitai Denji Telefang Power, Kaitai Denji Telefang Speed. This music. It's something in the the music with that, or like the instruments used there, that reminds me of at least one of the tunes in that game. Maybe if you've played that game, and I have definitely have, um, you might recognize it. You can bring home what tune it's from. I'm trying to think of that while I'm playing. 
I may actually do that game as a let's play at some point as well. It'll be pretty interesting. We'll def I'll definitely, I'll, I'll probably play the bootleg version because then it's it is easy to understand just due to the language. Although I believe I recently heard there's an official, well, official. There's a good fan translation patch. I may just play that on the Japanese version just because the bootleg version has issues with saving. I've never been able to save in that game. I always have to use save states. Uh, who knows? There's a lot of games that I want to do Let's Plays of. Let's just first finish that one. I only want to do one. Uh, there's a couple. There's a good amount of Mega Man games that I want to do. More Battle Network, but like, I could also do, do other Mega Man games. Quite a lot of Pokemon. I want to do all the main Pokemon games. Chances are I won't get to all of them. Um, then Kaito Denji Telefang, and then just some other single games. Uh, some games that I've been waiting with to play, just because I want to make it a blind Let's Play. Uh, Stanley Parable, for example. Um, Undertale has um, is still under consideration, but I've heard that the Let's Play community in general for Undertale um, on YouTube is not nice whatsoever. Like, there's a few nice people, but generally people just complain and complain and complain. So the even big YouTubers like Markiplier stop after is it two episodes because the backlash they got from that, the negative comments were just so bad that I didn't want they didn't want to continue. So, chances are I won't do that, uh, I'll just play it on my own, but there's a lot of games that I'm considering to do. Mario Galaxy, uh, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door absolutely is one of my favorite games, although that won't be soon, that will be later, because considering it's one of my favorite games, it's one of the ones I really want to do well. I want to do it well a lot more than with other games. I want to do everything well, especially that one, I really want to do it just want to try a bunch of different cool things with editing. But I first want to practice with the editing, with various Let's Plays, get into the Let's Play fit, Let's Play groove by doing a few Let's Plays, and after quite some time, possibly after well over a year, I'll start trying um, Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. But for now, it's Mystery Dungeon, then something else. I do plan to do Pokemon Coliseum blind soon, just hoping that my friend will be able to finish um, the sidebar for that, because you don't want to use the sidebar for that Let's Play. And then we'll just see what happens off that. If you have suggestions for games you want to see me play, please let me know. Um, for the moment, well, it, it has to be uh, either on PC or on a Nintendo console, because I don't have any others. So that has to happen, preferably it's a game that I already have. But like, if, if you suggest a game I don't have yet, and it looks interesting, then I may do it. For the moment, I don't have a good way to record GBA games. But uh, so I but I could still record a GBA game on the emulator like I'm doing with this Mystery Dungeon one. Um, I don't really support the use of bronze, but if you have the game in real life, then I, 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 I'm um, I won't be angry about it. Like I'm doing it myself now, so that says something about it. Yeah, leave your suggestions in the comments if you have any suggestions for Let's Plays. I'm interested to hear what you like to see me play. Possibly right after Mystery Dungeon. Maybe I'll use one of your um, suggestions, so just let me know. I think I might have figured out what the music is from, from the Kaito Denji Telephone. I think it's... I want to say it's the Antenna Tree music? No, I think it's one of the areas. I don't, I don't know, remember the area's names, especially because I only know the bootleg names. And they're different from the Japanese ones. No, there's one area, like maybe an island? Maybe it's the sea music. I'm not really sure, but it's, it's definitely a tune that uses similar kind of notes and instruments. Just a save point. <sighs> Alright, let's save, I suppose. Let's continue. We're still not through Mount Blaze, but we're near the peak. I'm glad we healed, because I 
as you can see, I just ran out of belly. Level up for Lucas. That's the second level up in two episodes, so we're definitely getting good AXP here. Not as good of a level up, but it's still a level up and all the stats increase, so I'm happy. Is this it? Is this Mount Blaze's summit? Wow, this is incredible. I know it's a volcano, but the lava flow is much higher than normal. This might also have a link to the natural calamities. Oh, it's like a furnace! I'm getting roasted! I don't want to spend any time in a place this dangerous. Let's get through this quick. HALT! Huh? What? It suddenly turned dark! I can hear the mountain screams. It's shrieking in pain. Someone is causing Mount Blaze to rave in agony! Is it you? Huh? Th that's wrong! We're innocent! We were just passing through! Who are you, anyway? Show yourself! Gah! The mountain's rage is my rage! I am Moltres! The warrior of fire am I. There is no forgiving those who befoul the mountain. On guard! And the battle against Moltres begins. I did say that something epic was waiting for us here. Alright, I'm gonna start us off with a graph log so it comes towards us. Then is when I use the sleep seed. So that we can attack it. I expect confusion to deal the most damage. However, after a screech, brick break, even at not very effective, will start doing quite a bit of damage. Do I have anything in my items that I could use? A few revivers used for the fight, so that should be nice. I think we'll be okay. I'm gonna just screech, brick break. Kabow! 55. Already woke up, that's unfortunate. At least we got one extra attack in. Screech, brick break, 77. Facade on 83, continuously dealing more damage. One more time. Nice. The link moves came apart, I still thought I said two more. Anyway, we beat Moltres, and how could get went to level 24? We also picked up a Link box in this dungeon. Wow, that combo worked out well. We beat Moltres. <laughs> that was fast. Wait, it dealt 26 damage to the Psyduck, and that was it? That was good. Yeah. Uh, I'm not done. I'm not finished yet. Wait! Please listen! We're not here to cause any trouble! You were chased to this mountain. And you should know, this mountain isn't the only place that is suffering. Natural calamities are happening in all sorts of places. We can't do anything because we're fugitives now. But we want to help Pokemon in these types of natural disasters. We want to help them. Do you say that sincerely? It's true! Please believe me. If you think I'm lying, please look at my eyes. <laughs> Fine. I trust that you aren't lying. Phew. My gosh. I thought my knees turned to jelly. You may pass. Get through Mount Blaze, and promise me this. Promise me that you will find the cause of the calamities that rack our world, and stop the disasters from sowing more destruction and suffering. Okay, I promise. Of course, that's not possible right now, but... <laughs> I, I, we will! We will do it right away! 
just being chased so we can't get on it right away, but we're a rescue team. We'll get to the bottom of what's causing the natural calamities. I promise. I will hold you to that promise. You've made me believe that you will honor that promise. If you do not forget the courage you showed in facing me. <laughs> ah! Is, is there anything else? No. I was only preparing to take off. Oh. Does it need to do that? Farewell. <laughs> that was scary! But it's really great that Moltres understood us. Anyway, we should get off Mount Blaze too. Walked a lot, didn't we? I'm tired. Let's get a little rest. Hmm. The view's fantastic. Oh look, I'll go over there. See how small Mount Blaze looks from here? We've come a really long, f a really long way, haven't we? Um, Alka? Wasn't it hard getting over Mount Blaze? I doubt that many Pokemon will be able to get through it. And it wasn't easy coming this far after that mountain. You want to know what I think? Do you think, maybe, that no Pokemon will be able to get to us here? I'll be honest. I don't know how many Pokemon are chasing us, but at least Team ACT. Huh? There's someone else? Well, who do you mean? Oh, I get it. There's Alakazam. You're right. Alakazam's team should be able to get here. Yep. We don't have a choice. We have to keep going. I think we need to go somewhere no one else can get to. Let's be positive and keep moving. Huh? What's wrong? Aren't we going, Alka? Pardon? Am I tired? They're trying to catch us. We don't have time to rest. And... Remember what I said? I said I would go with you, Alka. Oh, please don't look like that. Honest, I'm fine. Let's go, Alka. I'll always stick with you. And so, Alka's harrowing journey continued. Seeking refuge in even harsher places. They fled north. They crossed row upon row of mountains, forded fetid swamps, scaled frozen cliffs, till finally, Alga's tiny team arrived in a world of snow. A frigid wasteland of driving blizzards. Old. Uh, my nose is running and it's freezing. Isn't this one lonely place? See how deep the snow is. I haven't seen any other Pokemon for a while either. Maybe we're all alone here. Huh? What's the matter? Uh, what's that? What was that? It looked like a Pokemon, but... Did I imagine that? No, I don't think so. I'm sure there was somebody there. I wonder what they were doing in this lonely place. I guess thinking about it won't help us. We should keep moving. Oh! Alka, look! See that? Those trees are frozen! The snow is like frozen powder! It looks pretty, but it must be harsh there. Look, 
Okay. We don't have a choice. We have to get through this place. It will be horribly cold. I'd rather not go if I didn't have to. But hiding out in this area isn't the answer either. We can only go forward. We'll just have to keep our spirits up and keep going, Aoka. And that is what we will do indeed. In the next episode, we are going into this frozen forest. And see what awaits us there. Until next time.